ask why would why would one want the need to work with ancestors what what does it um, what are the benefits what does it bring you um, and you mentioned as a facilitator the need to do that you know to do your own work but also um, say not a facilitator um, and somebody who maybe has a completely uh, different background and maybe has never even uh, thought about ancestors in such a way before um, why would anyone want to um, start looking that way often people are called in some way um, certainly facilitators and people that are interested in working with ancestors are called to this work um, in some way I mean in, in my was through illness in, in many uh, traditions in on the African continent it's through illness so certain illnesses are recognized as a calling to work with ancestors. Um, but, but if you're talking about the lay person, I think for, for many people, there is also some kind of calling or some kind of synchronicity that, that happens. So I believe that you are called or that one of your ancestors will let you know in some way, um, whether it's through you keep on seeing adverts for family constellations or there's a kind of an interest or you, you, you feel like drawn towards something. I always say um, to people that actually, I think that the, that the ancestral work calls you. In some way, it finds you. And if it's something that keeps coming up, that keeps knocking on your door, or you, you feel almost like a, an attraction or a resonance with it, then it's worth exploring and, and seeing. You know, so I don't normally say to people, you know, if you have this kind of problem or that kind of problem, it's a good idea to look into ancestral work. Um, I think everyone can benefit from ancestral work. I think everybody can benefit from um, from realizing that there are resources available. Um, and I don't think we necessarily need to even go into entanglements or into difficulties with ancestors. One can actually um, start purely by looking at what are the things that my ancestors endured, that my ancestors got through, that they experienced. What can I learn from that? What is actually contained in me, in my ancestral field, in my physical body? Um, because I really do believe that that there's th that that genetic memory and that epigenetic memory is is with us. So it's, it's really about um, finding strength and resource from past experience. So, I mean, in the African tradition, I think it's, it's, it's clearer than in Western culture around elders being the wise ones. You know, those that have had life experience are the ones that we turn to. We don't turn necessarily just to people who've had a, got a big degree or, you know, who've been trained in medicine. We turn to the people that, that have had life experience and that also are in a position to observe. So when, when uh, people are older, they have more time to sit and to watch. And if they are part of the community or in, in, in situations where you don't, lock your elders away from the community the elders actually sit and they watch what's going on and those that are in the struggles and in the difficulties um, and are busy working and parenting and trying to make a living and doing all of these things they can't see because they're in it whereas the elders have this distance and they've got this um, this view that is imbued with experience and uh, life knowledge and so you would go to them and they would help you to see sort of the broader view the wider view which is i think also something that we do in constellation work we kind of zoom out and we start to look at hang on a sec it's not just this it's not just you the individual it's this yeah i actually can't remember what your question was anymore <laughs> <laughs> What's this going on? 